So once all these leads have been trimmed, you have LED columns that look like this. We're going to go ahead and start to solder them together. So take one column, take your template, and then just push it in right at the edge. And then what you want to do is make sure these LEDs are all the way in. So and take another column and put it right next to the first one. And also press all of them into their holes. And then go ahead and put six more so you have a total of eight LED columns right after one right after another. So now that we have eight columns placed into the template, we're going to start to solder all of these connections together. It is a little bit tricky to do, but it is very doable. So basically what you want to do is solder, add a little bit of solder right here, right there, right there, and so on until you have all these LEDs soldered. So let me show you what that should look like. So to solder all these LEDs, or the columns together, it's pretty much the same process used to solder all these LEDs into columns. So what you need to do, just take your soldering iron, take your solder, touch the solder to where you want to solder, and then touch the soldering iron. So when you're done soldering, you should have something that kind of looks like this. Okay, focus on that. There we go. So go ahead and solder all the rest of these into a full, complete 8x8 eight eight matrix. So once you have a matrix soldered like this, take your wire cutters and we're going to trim up these leads. And so you have something that looks like this, a fully soldered 8x8 eight eight matrix. So I would suggest you pop this out and set it aside. And then make another three matrices and so you'll have four complete matrices ready to go. So now that all four of these LED matrices are completed, we're going to start working on wires to connect the, these matrices to the matrix driver boards. So go ahead and grab your 4 meters of 50 conductor uh, ribbon cable and you're going to make uh, 64 individual wires of uh, around 4 inches in length. So I kind of messed up on this part. I know I said you need four inches of wire of all these connectors, but you actually need closer to eight. Turns out four inches is too short in order to connect to the matrix driver boards. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So this is 50 conductors, so I'm going to go cut around somewhere around four inches. And then I'm going to cut another section also around four inches. So I'll have a total of 100 conductors, but you only need 64 of them. So we have 100 conductors here total, and we're going to go ahead and break them into around groups of, I don't know, say eight, five to uh, eight in order to fit them into the wire strippers here. So it doesn't matter exactly how many conductors you have, as long as it's it fits into the wire strippers. So now you probably guessed that we're going to go ahead and strip these wires. So in order to do that, grab 
uh, your wire strippers, or if you're doing this by hand, uh, you'll have to split these up into individual conductors and strip to each wire. But since I have these wire strippers, I'm going to go ahead and use them. So you want to strip around somewhere a quarter of an inch of the insulation. So load it into your wire strippers and just hold on to this end and voila, we have one quarter inch of insulation gone. And then do that to the other side too. So there you have it. So go ahead and do that to a bunch of these so you have somewhere around 64 conductors. So now that all these wires have been stripped, we're going to go ahead and tin them. So you'll need your soldering iron for this, and some solder, and your sponge. So to do this, just take your wire, hold it in place somehow, and then take your soldering iron, and then touch it to a particular wire, and then apply solder. And just like so, we have this wire tinned. So we should have something that looks like that. Don't worry if you burn a little bit of the insulation. That's all right. And do that on the other side, and then do that for all the wires. So again, here's how to tin the wires. Put your soldering iron, touch it underneath the wires and apply solder. Then once the solder melts, move your soldering iron up. Also don't worry that also don't worry that these uh, wires are bridged. We'll cut that off later. So now that we've went ahead and tinned all these wires, we're going to go ahead and trim uh, the wires down to about an eighth of an inch in length. So take your scissors and just trim off the excess until you have something that looks like that. So now that all these wires have been tinned, stripped, and trimmed down, we're going to go ahead and separate these into separate wires. So the easiest way I found to do that is just take your nail, put it between the wires, take your other nail, and just push up with it. If you're having trouble getting these apart, you can try get, grabbing your wire cutters and then putting them between the two wires you want to separate, and just press, and that should help you separate the wires. So do that for all these, and hopefully you should have around 64 of these wires. If not, you'll have to strip off some more insulation, tin these wires, and then separate them.